Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The seventh session of the Second Convocation of National Assembly of Western Armenia report by Member of Parliament Ani Bedevian. The U.S. Deputy Secretary of State will visit Armenia, Georgia and Azerbaijan. The Russian Foreign Minister clearly stated that there is no idea of corridors in a process on blocking regional communication, Republic of Armenia. The Dolmabakhce Palace built by Balian family is 166 years old. 100th year anniversary of Armenian cinema is included in a UNESCO calendar. Why should we transform again and become Haikazun in order to be honored to be called Armenians? In the footsteps of history, Armenian Matzun, let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. During the seventh session of National Assembly of Western Armenia on a second convocation, the deputy of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, member of fifth NA Commission of the Management of Educational, Scientific, Commercial and Information Resources, Ani Berevian, presented a report in which she introduced the work done by the Commission. Members of the fifth Commission, Ani Berevian, Leonardo Basmajan and Alejandro Dorumian, have developed a program according to which they will jointly compile an explanatory illustrated dictionary of Western Armenian and Eastern Armenian. Armenian for children under 15 and people who do not speak Armenian. After the book is published, audio-video versions of the book will be created. Ani Bedevian's report was followed by an exchange of views. One of the deputies of Commission on Communication, Genocide and Compensation, proposed to draw up a program dedicated to her aunt Ding, within which it will be possible to organize a screening of films dedicated to Ding, as well as photos of Ding and a meeting with young Turkologists. In the next news release, we will present the report Report of Deputy Guillermo Karamanyan. The U.S. Under Secretary of State for European and Eurasian Affairs, Karen Donfrield, will visit Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Armenia on June 14 to 19. This is reported by the press service of the U.S. State Department. Celebrating the 13th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations with all three countries, Deputy Secretary of State Donfield will emphasize the U.S. support for the sovereignty and independence of these countries, emphasizing that right of Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Armenia to pave their own paths. She will also emphasize the readiness of United States to help build lasting peace in the South Caucasus, including by supporting political, economic development and contacts between people through the region, the State Department said in a statement. Donfield will be in Armenia on June 18, where she will meet with Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and other officials. We want to remind you that the United States recognized Western Armenia on May 11, 1920. The international border between Turkey and Western Armenia was the subject of arbitration award signed by the 28th President of the United States Woodrow Wilson and that everyday work is carried out with the members of Congress to restore diplomatic relations between the two states after the genocide of Armenians committed by Turkey on the territory of Western Armenia. Perhaps the most informed aspect of Armenian and Azerbaijani dialogue, in particular the demarcation and demilitation of borders of the unblocking of regional communication routes, is Russia. This has an objective reason. The Russian Federation is the initiator and signatory of the Tripartite Statement on November 9th, a document that stated the implementation of the above process. The periodic problematic statement of Azerbaijani leader Aliyev on the opening of regional communication routes put an end to the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who is on official visit to Armenia who noted, as we know, the railway line has been agreed. Currently, the coordination of the road route and the regime that must be approved is being finalized. It will be simplified, but it will be firmly based on the recognition of the sovereignty of Armenian territory, and there can be no ambiguity here. These are things that involve practical actions related to building a solid infrastructure, so it's better to measure 10 times before cutting. We have a perception that both Azerbaijan and Armenian partners proceed from this starting point. Dolmabahce Palace, built in Kastatnapol on the shore of Bosphorus, continues to exist as a magnificent symbolic structure. Dolmabahce Palace is 166 years old. The construction of the palace began on June 13, 1843, with the participation of important architect of the period, Karapet Balian, his son Nikolaos Balian, Hovanes Serverian, and James William Smith. Dolmabahce is the largest palace in the feudal Ottoman Empire. The area is 45,000 square meters and consists of 285 rooms, 46 halls, 6 baths, and 68 rooms. The design contains elements of Baroque, Rococo, and Neoclassical styles. Several buildings around the palace include a Baroque-style mosque designed by Karapet Balian and a clock tower built by the architect Sarkis Balian. 
The event Days of Armenian Culture in Russia, dedicated to the 13th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations between Armenia and Russia, will be held in different cities of Russia. Concerts of National Philharmonic Orchestra of Armenia and Comitas National Quartet are scheduled within the framework of the event. The official speeches of Armenian and Russian sites will also be included in the program of the event. The Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of Republic of Armenia, Vahram Dumanyan, addressed the programs, Days of Culture of Armenia and Russia and Days of spiritual culture of Russia in Armenia. Dumanyan also touched upon the 100th anniversary of Armenian cinema, which is scheduled for 2023 and is included in a UNESCO calendar of anniversaries of famous people and important events. It was also noted that 100th anniversaries of Charles Aznavour and Sergei Parajana will be celebrated in 2024. A butterfly is a symbol of change and awakening, a creature that is originally warm and can crawl, but in an amazing transformation, having passed the cocoon stage, turns from a crawling into a creature flying into infinity. In fact, the butterfly is a symbol of transformation. I have many experiences when you introduce the Armenian face to a person who considers himself an Armenian, but is captive to the beliefs of others, explain who our Armenian gods are, and what role and significance they play in the life of Armenian, and tell about Nahapet Haik, and still how is and the ancestors cut themselves from the patriarch of their people and this religion today and they impose the face of other people as their shrine. They begin to realize that for centuries his nation continues to fall because they imposed another fuel on the movement of his nation, which was destroyed at one time and was unable to give the nation heights. An Armenian who had reached this idea begins to live in a stage of painful cocoon and in a process turn from a crawling worm into the flying butterfly. Haikazun is born here, which is no longer a monk species in a field of religious and beliefs, but flies confidently and proudly in the sky of its national religion. May all people live by their national face and Armenian lies by the sacred face of his ancestors Haikazun, and thus be named Armenian again Kurm Harut Arakelian. Madun is a dairy product with a history dating back thousands of years. It has a high biochemical activity and contains live lactic acid bacteria that neutralize the effect of negative bacteria in the body. The Armenian highlands are considered to be the homeland of Madun. The word Madun is based on the root Madun, from which the verb Matanel and Matsnel are formed, which have the meaning of to stick and sicken. The widespread use of dairy products, in particular Madun, is evidenced by numerous archaeological finds. In ancient times, people left a part of milk for a long time, then that milk turned into sour milk matzun, and today the method of making matzun is the same as centuries ago. In Armenia, they also mastered the technique of long-term storage of matzun. Dear compatriots, the state television company of Western Armenia is not engaged in advertising. Our work is in preserving and developing ties between our compatriots and the motherland. At this historic stage, we are all obliged to support our national demands in order to face together the challenges we have and achieve the establishment of our just rights, which unfortunately are ignored in modern international relations. Our struggle lasts a long time, but victory is unavoidable. Western Armenia hopes for the active support on this difficult path. Together we can do more. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.